came to St. John's in 1988. St. John's was celebrating a hundred years of ministry. Um, however, the congregation had really turned inward and was in kind of a survival mode. And um, the neighborhood had uh, deteriorated. It was a dark and dangerous neighborhood and uh, surrounded by a lot of homeless neighbors and people who were in desperate human need. I think the transition came when we were able to see our opportunity for ministry all around us and open up the doors of St. John's and go from a membership uh, idea of ministry to a discipleship idea of mission and ministry. I think one of the important pieces of ministry here is that we have the opportunity to remind people again and again of their baptismal call to ministry. And ministry is not just for the church professionals, it's not for the pastor, it's not for the Christian education director, it's for all of us because God gives us that way. And so I hope that whatever we do in ministry is about bringing people back to the baptismal covenant back to the fact that God gives us, back to the incredible reality that God also empowers us and then sends us out. And I think if we're all looking in that direction and if we're all living that vision out, everything else is going to fall into place. Well, I think one of the best things about St. John's is Tyson House. It's our campus ministry um, and it's this marvelous opportunity for folks to engage with young adults as they're bridging the distance between youth and adulthood. And it's a time when uh, students are coming into their gifts and their training at a higher level than they've ever been before. They're still figuring out what they're going to do with that. And what better time is there to engage with people as a community of faith? I don't think it's a, a mistake that I'm sitting on the chancel stairs because so often this is a place that I spend time with the little ones at St. John's. And truly one of my favorite parts of worship is being here and watching the kids run down the aisle. Uh, it makes my heart happy. It's raucous and I'm always worried somebody's gonna fall, but it's also so beautiful and so joyful. So I really appreciate that. Um, and I think that translates to all of God's kids. We can't all run to the children's sermon, but my hope would be that um, all of us are finding that kind of joy in ministry. Raising the roof uh, has become a way of life here at St. John, so it's more than a theme for a capital campaign. It really is uh, an approach uh, to life and ministry here in this neighborhood, here in this community. But we want to expand our vision for ministry and I think raising the roof says to the community we're going to be here for another 127 years. Uh, our roof is 102 years old and needs to be replaced because it's leaking. There is damage to the interior of our sanctuary and the uh, plaster work that needs to be repaired and painting needs to occur. We also need to update our facilities uh, particularly our classrooms and uh, our kitchen. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done there. There's technology that uh, we could take advantage of and uh, additional uh, lighting that could uh, enhance what happens in our sanctuary and throughout our facility. So there's a lot of ways that our ministry would be enhanced by these capital improvements. But beyond that, the endowment needs to be firmly established for future life and ministry of this congregation. The endowment will provide for ministries that we otherwise couldn't provide for with the general fund budget. Uh, it'll also provide for ongoing capital improvements and capital needs that uh, a facility this age will have uh, indefinitely. So, uh, and then in addition to that, we'll be reducing our debt with this campaign, which will free up even more money uh, for mission and ministry. So all of those things combined, along with uh, the 10% of uh, proceeds going for benevolence, you know, the ELCA has a campaign this year, the Southeastern Senate has a campaign this year, and uh, we want to contribute uh, to those ministries as well as to regional and local ministries that we can provide for regional, like the Southern Seminary has uh, needs that we could respond to, uh, Lutheridge has needs that we could respond to, 
and um, locally we have just all kinds of opportunities to, to expand our ministry.